probiotics and supporting good kidney health. The second video that we have about probiotics, the first one take a look at afterwards if you haven't watched it to learn more. And I'm gonna reference a study from the Probiotics and Antimicrobial Proteins Journal in September 2017. And what it is, is probiotic soy milk consumption and renal function among type two uh, diabetic nephropathy uh, patients, so diabetic kidney disease. And what they did was they gave them a fortified soy milk. So they took regular soy milk and they added a type of probiotic called Lactobacillus plantarum to it. And you allow the soy milk to ferment, the uh, Lactobacillus plantarum, it grows and grows and grows, and they consume 200 milliliters, which is just under seven ounces, for eight weeks. And at the end of eight weeks, it showed that an inflammation marker was lower, which is a good thing. And it also showed that another test called the cystatin C was lower, which is a test for, uh, it's an earlier indicator of kidney disease and kidney damage than the traditional test cues. And some people are using this uh, more and more in practice. It's still not mainstream. They're expecting it to be mainstream. But you can always uh, have that test done if you have it and ask about it you know, with your nephrologist, your medical doctor, whoever's monitoring you. But if you wanted to do this, okay, what you would do is buy regular soy milk, that you find at any supermarket. Then you gotta go buy the probiotic called Lactobacillus plantarum. And you can buy that in supplement form, in pill form. Maybe you can buy it in little satchels. Those are like little pouches. And you take the pill, open it up, or take the satchel, put it in the soy milk, and let it ferment. Okay, let it ferment for at least 24 hours, 48 hours. And then you would consume under seven ounces per day. Okay, and that would uh, help those that inflammation marker, it helps kidney damage, and it does this through the probiotic, okay, the probiotic data, because probiotics are so good for kidney health. And with consuming this soy milk, it, soy milk is, is kidney friendly, uh, so you don't have to worry, you can fit that in just about any uh, renal diet that you're following, so you don't have to really be concerned with that. And when you're looking to do probiotics for kidney health, there's the two main types that I discussed in the other video that you want to make sure you get. Lactobacillus acidophilus, and then Bifotobacteria longum. Okay, so those are the two main types you want to get, but it's always the more the better. So you can always look to do this uh, soy milk uh, probiotic that I just talked about here. You can look to go buy another probiotic pill that has all other different types of good bacteria because all these things do really good things for the body. So more you can uh, look at our website, more about probiotics, kidney health, more things you can do to support good kidney function, like, subscribe. Thanks for watching, everybody. Robert Galarowitz. Bye.